Hey everybody, welcome back to the Print 3D channel. Today is May 27th and that means day 147 of the 3DP 365 project. And on today's episode, we printed out the squishy turtles, so stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back, and thank you for joining me here for day 147 of the 3DP 365 project. As always, down in the description there's a facts section. There's also a Matter Hackers affiliate link. If you're in the market for some new filament, just use that Matter Hackers affiliate link and you really help out the channel. Today's episode is about this very cool little squishy turtle model that we found up on Thingiverse. And this is a multi-part print with built-in hinges. It's a very cool model, and our print turned out awesome. And we used two different colors of Matter Hackers Pro PLA. We use green for the base of the model and his head and his legs, which is that base model. And then we use some of the new midnight blue, which is this new color, and that looks awesome, for the shells. And there's a multiple, uh, multiple versions of the shells, and I actually have one printing right behind me right now on the G-Max. And I thought it would be cool to have something printing in the background for once so you guys could actually see the G-Max in action. But this print turned out awesome. There's a few little layer skippy thingies going on here. But I think that's because there's multiple positions of the extruder head while it prints. Because it starts off with a, um, a certain pattern and the two pieces of the shell are actually separate and then they join together as the print goes on. And that's the same with the uh, base of the model too. It prints out in multiple little pieces and then they all join together in the end to make the little squishy turtle. And as you can see, he's super squishy. And the assembly was really easy too. And I'll show you a quick video on how I assembled it. And as you can see, there's built-in springs on the bottom piece, the green parts there. You also get the two little H connectors, and those will connect the shell to the body. And of course, you get the head that has the long shaft that runs down the middle that creates the tail. And once you print those out, you can print out the shells. And like I said, there's multiple versions of the shell. And we printed out the basic standard shell, and we use that Midnight Blue Pro PLA from Matter Hackers. Once you have all the pieces printed out, it's a pretty easy assembly. The first thing I did was slide the head piece down into the base part of the model. And then the next thing you need to do is attach the little H connectors. Now I have really big hands, so this is pretty difficult to do. But I managed to get them wedged in. And once you get one side in, it's a little easier to put in the other side. And once you have both sides together, you really need to push them down and snap them in to make sure they hold the, uh, the neck piece in place. The next piece you need to put on is obviously the shell. And this proved to be a little bit more difficult because those little H connectors, while this is pro PLA and it won't snap to my knowledge, I did want to be careful with it. So I took my time putting it together until I found the perfect alignment between the shell and the bottom piece. And once I had those two together, it snapped together really clean. So once they were all assembled, as you can see, it is super springy and it's jumping up and down on the table there. So as you can see, the assembly is really easy. And like I said, you can download this model from Thingiverse and I'll put the link down in the description so you can download and print this yourself. And once we had it uh, downloaded from Thingiverse, we sent it over to Simplify 3D for slicing. In Simplify 3D, we used the same settings for all the parts. We used a 0.2 millimeter layer height with four top layers and three bottom layers and three perimeters. We also used a 20% infill on this model because I wanted to be a little bit strong and make sure my little top layers are really good. And one thing to note, on your first layer width, you kind of want to set that for 100%. And make sure you have really good bed adhesion because there's very small parts of this model. And when they all print separately, you want to make sure they stick down to the print bed. So set that for 100% on your first layer width. We also printed these out at 40 millimeters per second because I knew the G-Max could handle all the small pieces. And the final results are this cool little squishy turtle. And like I said, there's springs inside, so his legs are super springy. And his little head, as you can see here, I'll see if I can get the camera to focus on it. It slides in and out and then you can just push the tail and push it back up. The one modification I might do, and I note this to the modeler, is to make the end of the tail a little bit more rounded. So when kids are pushing it in, it's not so sharp on the end. But other than that, this is a very, very cool model. And like I said, I have another shell printing behind me because I think these are really cool. And I'll probably print out some more of the little H clips because I have a feeling I might snap a few of those taking this apart and putting on different shells. So all in all, I think this is a really cool model and I love the fact that it's got built-in springs and everything snaps together as one cool little toy. Well, that about wraps it up for day 147 of the 3DP 365 project. 
I hope you guys found this episode interesting and informative. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, like, and share those videos, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.